Here we are, gonna go and get Frankie's off to the races today. Race day number two. Whereas this is his first race this campaign. Here he is in the orange and blue. Hey Frankie, we're off to the races today big boy. Come on down. Here he is at the races. Mum's about to take him for a wash. We're about an hour and a bit from race time. An hour and a quarter from race time. Hey, how are you mate? Look at his eyes, freaking out. So 3, 14, 12 and 7. We're going to go back to last Wednesday week at the sunny coast for Sandy Hero's last night yep. performance. He finished second behind a horse called News yeah, Editor. He started at $3.80. Yeah, he drew seven in a big field of 16. And uh, he went back in the field. Um, here we go. We've got him now. Let's blue, see what blue and white horse on the outside. He was giving them a massive There's the favourite of our race. And once Jimmy Orman got into the outside, he did gather momentum nicely on the big track here at the sunny coast. But uh, the winner here, I think, is a pretty handy horse. News okay. editor. The antic. Sam the Hero's coming quickly on the outside, but News Editor, he went through, he dashed the lead, he put them away, the favourite, and News Editor raced away and won from Sam the Hero second, Volta will be third, just in front of Beat the up animals. The next time in the race then was a gangster. Danza girl number seven was also in that race, 
uh, she was back a couple off the rails there and stayed on okay, but uh, perhaps a, a place chance for her here, the seven Dan's the girl, I've got her there in for fourth, but I thought that run was good enough, um, as I mentioned, no depth to this race, quick look at the betting here at the track, and they're chasing their arm with him here at the track, they put him out from $1.50 to $1.70, he's $1.90 though on uh, the local you bet tote, 1.8 on the fixed odds on you bet with the Philly number 14 world class here at the course 3 out to 3.1 but better than that 3.8 right? on the you bets we're inside 60 seconds they're moving into the gates for the fourth event here at Ipswich our caller today is David Fowler <coughs> Chaperone waiting its turn with Aaron's and Zariah's fire also the Frank star hello Harrow you need Tommy about to move in Lake Victoria. Uh, Sam DeHero on track, open 150, now 170. World class, 3 to 3, 10. They dominate the betting. $10 away from that pair. This is the opening leg of the Quadrilla. And on the tape, Sam DeHero, 180 and world class at $4. So a similar situation as far as the you bet betting is concerned. Tegan Harrison riding world class. She's been in great form so far today. But already a double on the board with Frilly Curtin and El Campion. There's the Frankstar, number four, Tony going round and round. Running double with the same horses. Now Zariah's fire coming up. Hello, Hara about to move in. And the Frankstar will be the last one to come up. So we're just about set to go. Running 16, 66 metres. The Frank Star comes up to the outside gate and we're set for race four. Starting signal given, starters on the stand. They're ready to jump. Favourite blue and white colours. He's favourably drawn, runs from the two gate. Starter just holding them. Gates open, off now. Yeah. Seem to hear a might have missed by a length or so. On the other hand, the second favourite world class bounce well. There's a swarm chasing him early. Danza Girls, Arise Fire, and Unique Tommy all pushing for then Brigley Adoro, followed by Lake Victoria, then came Decibel Dan. Around the outside was Hello Harris, Sam De Hero. Well, he uh, made no use of his barrier, courtesy of no speed. He's back to third last, the odds on favourite. Aaron second last, and the Frank Star last. World class taking cover as Danza Girl goes to the lead as they approach the 1,000 metres. Zariah's fire is handy and Unique Tommy, he's swimming up to be now in second position. Two pink chaperone outside of Brigley Adoro, then Lake Victoria, followed by Decibel Dan, Hello Hara, Sam De Hero, trailing their pair, six to seven off the lead with Aaron's and Frank Star, the last pair. On the side now, 700 left to run. Danza Girl, Unique Tommy, they had a bar length and a half. World Class Thirds, Arise Fire Fourth, then Pink Chaperone, followed by Brigley and Doro, then Lake Victoria, Sam De Hero still giving them a tidy start, needs room to move, then Decibel Dan, Hello Hara, and the last pair, Aaron's and the Frank Star. He's this favourite would, would want to get a wriggle wriggle on coming to the turn, 300 metres left to run, and Danza Girl, Unique Tommy, yeah. grabbed by Zariah's Fire on the outside, World Class just behind, then Pink Chaperone, Sam De Hero's now Second oh, run down the outside, yeah. but he's seeing them a good right. start. Good. Zariah's fire the leader, world class trying now. Right. Then Pink Chaperone, Sam De Hero's now right. coming to flashlight on the outside, and he got the favourite. Sam De Hero won from either world class Pink Chaperone or Brigley Adore. Zariah's fire just yeah. behind them, then the Frank Star Decibel down, right. followed by Aaron's Denzer Girl. Well back, Unique Tommy, and the last couple. Were Lake Victoria and wow. Helen McCann in 142.25. Sam De Hero, he was uh, near last coming to the turn and giving them six to seven. So whether he mowed or they got tired, maybe the later, but he was able to swallow him up late and the favourite got the prize. Number three. Look at Sam that. Paul Hammersley there. first. Go. Go. Odds on favourite successful. <laughs> With a good game, he didn't have any early pace to take advantage of it. He was back third last early. There he is. So number there three, the winner there, Sam De Hero. He left it a little bit late, but he's got up. There are no minor numbers as yet. World class. Very tight there on the inside. A um, couple of them. 
fairly tight for room. We can see Dan Zagel being squeezed out a little bit, like not a lot of room for Zari. He's five at 12. The Sandy Hero did have that uninterrupted run right down the outside. By gee, he was giving them a big start. They've probably got the stitch the last 50 or 60 yards, which helped him a little bit. But, I mean, that's the nature of the course here at Ipswich. Horses can kick away, and the best horses don't often win. But Hammer, Paul Hammersley, really putting it to Sandy Hero on the outside, and he's, he's managed to get up. Is our Frankie home safe after a day at the races? <clears throat> Enjoying some grass in the round yard. <laughs>